Well, this issue has been widely discussed around the world, but it's not being heavily discussed in China. There are strict restrictions on how this is referenced. Often it's not referenced at all, and particularly with posts on social media, any making reference to a Tiananmen Square massacre can expect to be removed. So awareness, particularly among younger adults, is minimal. Let's hear from Kerry Allen, BBC Monitoring's China media analyst. Hi, Kerry. Good to have you on the programme. So as you've looked around today, have you been able to find any references? No, none whatsoever. And in fact, what the government's doing instead is today it's mentioning that it's got a new logo for the 70th anniversary of the Chinese Communist Party, which comes in October this year. So during this event, every decade, there will be military parades within Beijing. And what this means is that if people are typing in, for example, military, Beijing, parade, you know, Tiananmen, mm. um, what they're seeing are just reports on this. Um, so any comments that activists or people trying to get messages out about this incident, because it is so heavily repressed, um, means that these comments just won't be seen. What they'll see instead is this huge government campaign to get people seeing what the Communist Party is going to be doing um, come October. So that's with reference to words. I wonder how it deals with images, because, of course, the Tiananmen Square massacre is largely associated with that one image of the man standing in front of the tanks. Has anyone tried to share that? Well, what's particularly interesting this year, I mean, bear in mind, this is a landmark anniversary, is, I mean, previously what people have done is they've tried to share screen grabs because government censors, what they do is they identify certain keywords that are sensitive and they automatically remove these messages. And these can be really innocuous, words like 4-6, the 4th of June, the 4th day, the 6th month. Um, but, uh, but this year what's happening is a lot of social media platforms like Sina Weibo, for example, which is China's equivalent to, say, Facebook or Twitter, um, they've, they're suddenly implementing maintenance upgrades. And this is happening on social media networks. It's happening on video platforms. So people can't actually comment. They're being told that your comments need to wait in a queue and it's, it's possible that there will be delays until at least the 6th of June before people can actually post anything. And we've just been seeing how there was a huge candlelit vigil in Hong Kong where people can do things they can't do elsewhere in China. Is it the same online that people in Hong Kong can discuss this much more freely than, than everyone else? Yes, they can. I mean, what is really interesting is that lighting a candle, something um, seemingly kind of innocuous. I mean, what this is, it's a, it's a way of marking respect. The government knows that people in previous years as well, they have um, they've either uploaded pictures of candles or even used a candle emoji, just a little picture that you can get on social media platforms. But on the anniversary, the candle emoji just gets removed from social media, so people can't even post a candle. Um, I mean, people are aware anyway that uh, there are vigils, you know, because nowadays Chinese people are travelling more and more, and they get to learn about Tiananmen from overseas. But, um, but I mean, even the big one that's that's known about by Chinese people, the one in Hong Kong in Victoria Park, the word Victoria Park is censored, so people can't even mention that. How interesting. Kerry, as always, thank you very much for your help. That's Kerry from BBC Monitoring.